What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. If you guys are new, welcome, welcome. We are still absolutely killing it on the subscriber goal. Blue past 500 subscribers, about at 540 right now. So thank you guys so, so, so much for that support. It means a lot to me. And just as a thank you from me to you, I am doing that little giveaway for my subscribers to the channel with two Amazon gift cards worth like five bucks to you guys. So to be a part of that giveaway, giveaway you do have to be a subscriber to the channel because it is a thank you from me to my subscribers and secondly this right here is video seven of the series the first one was on the grasp of avarice and those 12 hidden messages for wilhelm seven that was number one this video right here is going to be number seven and then on the 23rd december 23rd that'll be my 10th video and the last day to get into the giveaway so you just have to comment on one of those 10 videos giveaway and you will be entered and we will choose a winner on December 24th just again as a thank you from me to you guys but enough about that right there let's get into today's video because this one is super special and super interesting to me I know you guys have probably seen something about it in the destiny community just because it is a super interesting weapon that we're gonna cover the glacio chasm fusion rifle now you might be wondering why this thing is so so special it has a few different reasons for that one is because right now during the dawning event this is the only time that you are able to receive this weapon. So it is kind of rare with the drops because you only have two, three weeks to earn the weapon. Second off, this thing has a sweet combination of perks that we don't see on any other fusion rifles in the game. And it is the combination of subsistence and reservoir burst. Now this combination is absolutely nutty for a few different reasons. Reason number one is because Reservoir Burst. When you have the battery full, your next burst deals additional damage, which is roughly 25% damage increased, and the enemies explode. So you're doing extra damage, and it is super good for ad clear. Because of that explosion, it creates a nice big explosion, which wipes out plenty of enemies. You pair that with Subsistence. So on your Reservoir Burst kills, the targets defeated partially reloads the magazine so you're basically always having reservoir burst proct because your battery will be full you have a full magazine you do damage and defeat an enemy and that explosion and that single enemy refills that one bolt that you just shot out of the fusion rifle and you are back to a full magazine and can keep shooting as you can see in the background gameplay right here I'm in the k1 revelation lost sector on the moon and every time that I defeat one of these acolytes these hive I get get that bolt back in my magazine and then the continuing explosions and extra damage is output so I never have to reload this weapon until I actually run out of special ammo and I have to go find more. Now this is the role that I have on mine right here. We have our Reservoir Burst, which I was talking about, and our Subsistence, definitely the most two important perks that you can have for this role. I love a Fluted Barrel because it gives you that extra handling and stability. And then in that, this second slot right here, I would choose Liquid Coils just because it gives you a little extra impact and you're hitting a 100 impact instead of like mine is only 95. Now I know that's not much of a difference, but that extra little bit of damage out is super nice now for me I choose enhanced battery so I can have eight rounds in the magazine and pairing that with major spec so I can do extra damage on those powerful enemies like your champions or your orange bars stuff like that that do a little bit more damage than your regular rank and file red bar enemies now the reason I'm able to have these extra perks in these last two slots right here subsistence killing wind and then also high impact and a reservoir burst is because of these two upgrades right here from evil Levante, perky presence and perkier presence. So when you have those two upgrades, it gives you the chance of having those extra perks in the left and the right columns, making these weapons, the dawning weapons, way more versatile and farming these. You can have a plethora of options on the rolls like I do. So I can take this thing into both PVE and PVP because I have killing wind and high impact reserves for PVP and then reservoir burst and subsistence for PVE making these weapons just super, super, super important to farm while we have them 
during the dawning. Now, the only downside to this weapon for me is the charge time at a thousand is a little slow, but it's really not that bad compared to other ones. So if you are looking for a little difference on the roll, instead of the range masterwork that I had, you can do a charge masterwork, which does bring down the charge time from a thousand all the way to 960. So it's just a little bit, but that extra timing does help, especially if you're used to fusion rifles that shoot faster. Now to obtain this glacial chasm right here, you are gonna have to put on your baking cap and start baking these cookies for our NPCs because the only way to obtain it is by turning in the cookies to an NPC and then they will give you a gift in return and you have to obtain the weapon from opening the gift, which you have a 25% chance of it coming out of there because we do have four weapons in the Zypher Sword, the Avalanche LMG, the Cold Front SMG, and then also our bad boy right here, the Fusion Rifle Glacio Chasm. So once you turn in your cookies to an NBC, they have the chance of giving you right here, like I said, a gift in return. And when you open them, they do have a chance of giving us our dawning weapons. So like right here, I got Cold Front. On my next one, I got the Zypher Sword. And on my third one, I got an Avalanche. Unlucky that I didn't get a Glacial Chasm, but I did get all other three weapons. So it's a nice way to farm these weapons, especially when they do have the chance of rolling with these extra perks like this. It makes finding the ideal god roll so, so much easier. So hopefully this helped you guys out finding this god roll one of a kind glacial chasm right here with your reservoir burst and subsistence. I'm personally gonna stick with my fluted barrel and I'm looking for a liquid coil perk in the second slot right there. This is about as close as you can get without that perk. And like I said, you can change your range master work to a charge time if you're not about the thousand charge time that this weapon has. Once again, definitely get to grinding this weapon out. It is super, super amazing. And we only have a couple more weeks to do it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.